If you see me at the gym, don't work out by me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm not saying she knows me from YouTube. And this person just works out right by me. I'm on mile four. I'm almost at mile five. And she just works out right by me. I was pissed. Ew. 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 Your personality stank. Do y'all know that girl? Never seen her day in my life. I'm gonna play clips throughout this entire video, but let me go ahead and get to the point. She goes by Sweetie Snacker on YouTube. She has over 86,000 people following her there. So by the looks of it, she eats in her car and apparently she works out also. This video is kind of long, but I'll go ahead and brief it out for y'all. So apparently she's doing her run on the treadmill. And right next to her, someone decides to get on the next treadmill. So instead of that person running the way that she was, she got pissed. She got so pissed that she took to YouTube while she's trying to influence a bunch of people to talk badly about the other person. Not only that, but she goes on to say that she doesn't want anybody working out next to her while she's in the gym. And she actually goes on to call this girl out of her name. Let me show you guys really quick. Yeah, if that was you, fuck you. And I did call you a bitch. So apparently this girl works out of Planet Fitness. Don't they always? And to keep her safe, I will not put out her city and state. But I will say this. People like this do not deserve platforms at all. And I could also go on and say, people like this does not deserve to be in a public space like the gym. See, the memo is when you go to the gym, everyone shares that space. Now I can understand the other person's distracting you, the other person's being nasty, rude, mean. The sweat is spilling all over you. I get it. But the person is minding their own business and working out right next to you on the equipment that they pay monthly for, on the piece of equipment that they're allowed to use, on the equipment that's highly functioning. What the hell does that matter to you? I'm trying to figure out where the entitlement is coming from, babe. The gym is a shared space, a space where everyone belongs, except for people like you. I honestly hope that the gym that you go to, they see this video. And I honestly hope the gym that you go to revokes your membership, to be quite honest with you. It's giving very much you can't sit with me vibes. And that's not what we're about. Oh, but let me go ahead and show you guys this last clip. Don't you know that's my gym? Don't you know this is my world and you're just living in it? Girl, be for real. The crazy thing is that girl didn't even know the person that could have been next to them was probably very much so influenced by that person. And they probably were so excited to see them inside the gym. They probably were so motivated that you were running on the treadmill. They wish they could do that too. So they stood next to you to probably find some motivation. Maybe you being there and you working and pushing as hard as you did probably gave them encouragement throughout the day. But the fact that you gave them all those nasty looks and you've admitted to it, you probably discouraged that person. And I pray. I pray that your dirty looks did not discourage them and I hope they actually never saw them. This person's a true definition of what toxic gym culture is. These people will not be tolerated and they also should be very much so silenced. Now I know y'all about to go internet, but I'm telling y'all right now, be nice. I hope she sees this video and actually apologize to that lady. Be a better person.